So here's an integrated rate law problem that we uh, looked at in class. Uh, we have hydrogen peroxide uh, decomposing in a dilute sodium hydroxide solution at 20 degrees Celsius that does so in a first order reaction. And what we want to know is what is the concentration of H2O2 after 100 minutes if the initial concentration of the hydrogen peroxide is 0 0.020 molar and we're given a value of K for this reaction in inverse minutes. So the first thing we want to do is let's just write down uh, everything that we know here. We know the initial concentration of hydrogen peroxide, so we know that H2O2 times 0 is equal to 0 0.020 molar. Uh, we know we're looking for concentration of H2O2 at time 100, so we'll write that down with question marks. Uh, we know that our time is equal to 100 minutes, and we also know the value of K because that was given to us. So what we want to set up is our, uh, our equation here. We know we have a first order reaction because the uh, problem told us that. So we're going to have natural log of concentration of H2O2 at time 100 over concentration of H2O2 times 0 is going to be equal to negative KT. So that's our integrated rate law for a first order reaction. So let's plug in what we know. So we know we have the natural log of, and we have our H2O2 oops, at time 100 over concentration of our H2O2 at time 0, which is 0 0.020 molar, and that's equal to negative KT, so negative 1.06 times 10 to the minus 3 inverse minutes, and that's times 100 minutes. Now we can't do much with this 0 0.020 here uh, because it's inside of that natural log function. So we're going to have to get rid of that natural log function before we can do anything with it. So we're just going to leave it alone for now. We're going to leave that uh, left hand side of the equation alone. So we're going to write natural log of our H2O2 at time 100. It's going to be over our 0 0.020 molar. On the right hand side though, we can multiply those and when we do that, uh, we get negative 0 0.106. And notice we don't have any units there because minutes and inverse minutes when multiplied by each other cancel out. So now what we want to do is we need to get rid of that natural log. Uh, we cannot just multiply by 0 0.020 on both sides and clear it out from on the left there. Uh, we have to get rid of that natural log function. So to get rid of a natural log function, we're going to raise, raise both sides to the power of e. And so uh, e to the natural log of something is just going to leave us with that something. So those two things go away. So we end up with concentration of H2O2 over time 100, or at time 100, it's going to be equal to 0 0.020 molar. And so that's equal to e to the negative 0 0.106, and that has a value, and you plug that into your calculator, and you get 0 0.8994. And now we can multiply both sides by the 0 0.02 molar, and we end up with a concentration of H2O2 at time 100 equaling 0 0.018 molar.